So yes, this is a DC motor. Yeah, if someone can give me some details on this motor would be nice. And that's here probably the reason why uh, it only drives one kilometer per hour because you see here right here that's a shortcut over the entire collector. We'll try to, to clean it up here and then later with us to, to, to make the, the edges smooth again. The, uh, not hope. Why, why hope when, when you can dream? Why hope when you can dream? So you see, to hope is always, oh, someone will help me. <laughs> well, dream is, is a joy that comes from the inside, so you can dream that this is going to be the solution, yeah. Yeah, here, uh, that's working quite nicely. Just pulling the knife. This will take the entire Sunday, <laughs> yes. Uh, so here. I made this cut and it's easier first slightly to get the path, the line, and then you can dig into the copper. So now to check my repair to make these contacts clear again and first i tried here is an ina 226 uh, current sensor that's 10 milli ohm uh, but it did not really you see then in series uh, here a different so uh, one coil that's about four square meter 50 centimeters would be about two milli ohm and um, also to understand later um, this uh, copper wire uh, wire goes comes from here and then goes there and come goes back here so it's not that the uh, neighbors are directly um, connected with one coil instead um, you see there are 47 of these contacts so it's 12 uh, is one coil and then another 12 another 12 so 48 is exactly one uh, step uh, one increment and so the, the resistance between two of these uh, should be something like eight milli ohms but uh, as i said <laughs> there were so many here yeah my, my my little power supply i have constant current and constant voltage and right now i've set it to the maximum three amp constant uh, current for for the next step because you see it's here this cause um, so much resistance it did not get resi re reliable <laughs> results and therefore uh, I have here that's a magnet magnetic sensor so uh, all a compass and there is this heading uh, don't know what it is but here so this is uh, the 4.67 and the, the 131 that's the readings uh, that i average over so it's right now 130 times uh, 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 the sensor is red and then the average is 4.667 whatever this is and so now uh, if i uh, here you see if i make a shortcut directly uh nothing really happens that's why this uh, power supply is, is the most opposite place to the sensor. But if I now go to the neighbor coil, then there's a change. <laughs> you see, and there would not be, let's go back to the things of 4.65 or here, on, let's go here to the upside, 4.64 and the neighbor is 4.22. And again, 4.68, it's, it's quite reliable. And so again, 4.68, one step is 4.22. So there is not really a shortcut because if there would be a shortcut, then there would not be, you see, it's one step. So there are now four coils uh, um, with, with current. And, and so it doesn't really matter where the sensor is. It just has to be above this four coils. So if I now here go to 
the next. It's 3.97. So it, I don't really know what this heading value is, but it's a magnetic magnetic field value, and it changes if I go to the so let 3.97, uh, 3.86. So back 3.97. Yeah, that's reliable. 3.86, 3. Point, yeah, and then. Uh, 3.8, but you see it's now it's getting less and less. Let's try the next 3.76, and that's you see because now the, it's another field, and therefore these uh, four uh, windings they 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 do not overlap. So the sensor now is in a region where it's not inside one of these four, and so I then I simply here uh, go to the this and then. It's, it, it changes these four regions, so it's, again, it's, the sensor is above one of these four regions. So 4.76, and you see 4.35, that's a big change, and then 4.13, and the good thing is, uh, you see it's always 3 amps, uh, 3.08 amps. So it doesn't really matter if, you, if the contact here is, is clear or not. It's always you get really quickly get to these 3 amps because that's what the power supply is always constantly delivering. 4.83, 3.98, back 3.89, 3.85. That's okay. 3.75. 3.36, 3.36, 3 3.35. That's again, you see, uh, not really that good. So let's go to another. Uh, starting here, it's 3.34 and 3.35. So, okay, you see, this might be a one. <laughs> You see, the, if the, the other one is 3.88. This is 3. Point, uh, can you see it? 3.34 and 3.35, and and so. I guess this, this is a quite nice idea um, to to simply uh, check if these coils. You see, of course, it's not an absolute value like the milliohm. Uh, but it's if there's a shortcut, then you won't have a change in the magnetic field, and so it's quite a nice idea, I think. Okay, so I did clean up, and I think uh, here that that really might might be the problem, as you can see. I think maybe it, it became too hot, and and then it it the torque, the twist here, uh, these. Uh, these, these layers, and so it, there's a shortcut here, and it's it was really quite difficult to get here uh, a clear uh, gap between these uh, layers. Uh, but now, so you see 3.5.9, that's a shortcut, and behind that's 5.85, so 0.5 digits le less. Next is 5.8, and back 64, and again the nine. You see, it's it's really eight nine. It's it's quite reliable. So I, I really like this idea. Thank you. So that's it. And again, here these twisted layers. They really, they might be the real problem. And then this rotator is is broken completely. Now I have to push it here into this. Okay, you have to remove all three screws uh, from the. Gearing, by the way, here's oil leakage. Uh, only if, if it's down, so um, don't know what this has to say, but I think this should uh, should get a new seal. Uh, and 
So. To push it underneath and then fit it in. So now it's hanging here on, on this rope and so I can slowly pull it upwards. Okay, first test, I haven't tested it yet. So neutral. Uh, every warning's off and so now this is front and well, let's go. Yes. Backwards. How? <laughs> so I haven't got a license plate yet. So just, I mean, it's a very small village, only 90 people. And there's a, a parking place. Uh, so maybe I will try that. But the heat pump, maybe I don't know if I have to remove it to get out. But I can drive in here. 10, 50 meters backwards, forwards. Ah, looking good, yes. Wie schön, wie schön. So, now I'm here on this, not, no longer the street. Yeah, now I don't know how, how long they last. And here, my speedometer, because right now it, it doesn't work. And, and yeah, let's go. I shouldn't drive too far. Uh, it will be a, not that noisy if there's a, a cover on top. So let's turn around here. Oh, uh, okay. because I cannot test top speed here. There's a question if this is needed to increase. So now it's going uphill, so let's see. Oh, no problem.
Yeah, that, that's top speed for now. Uh, Yeah, there's a door locked. Uh, doesn't really... Doesn't work, so... Which way do we drive in? Uh, maybe other side would be better. <laughs> okay. That's it so far. Now here's there's a exclamation and here's this orange light. So it, it might be that the batteries are now out of balance, uh, but it's still driving. Let's see if I turn off and turn on again. Yeah, now it's gone. So <laughs> this looks like a happy end. Here, top speed was 31. You see, that's uh, this this field called uh, it has to be the here these um, not the the stator the voltage has to be reduced to to increase speed, and therefore maybe uh, the ESC needs to know the the speed so, so to know when to uh, to lower to reduce the stator field. But uh, you see. <laughs> This nice uh, solar, my solar car, it only drives six uh, kilometers per hour. And so, and I, I was, you see, 45 kilometers is already way too fast for me. And here these uh, 31, 30 would also already be okay. So now I order, can order a license plate uh, and, and then uh, legally drive on the street. Bye bye.